good morning everybody it's October the 8th uh, archery season in Illinois has opened up it was opened up it actually opened on October the 1st and um, I did go hunting on October the 1st uh, had to resort to using the uh, compound bow because uh, apparently I forgot to put the cocking rope for my crossbow in the bag with it and it was in a backpack <clears throat> where I wasn't going to find it right away. I did find it though. I have it today. Um, and uh, so hopefully I will see something today. It's 5.39. I'm headed out to my stand. It's going to take me a while to get there. Um, but <clears throat> I hope I see something. Last week I saw one doe and <laughs> that was two hours before sunrise and you can't shoot anything until a half hour before sunrise. Primarily because you can't see where your arrow's going. Um, for safety reasons, and that's reasonable. Um, but anyway, I'm going to head out to the other stands. I've got two south of me here, about 45 minutes. Uh, the one that I used last week was up about oh, an eighth of a mile from my cabin. Uh, we know there's been deer moving through there, but not excessively just once in a great while we'll see something going through there so uh, hopefully I'll be able to see something today and uh, put a tag on it um, I'm not a trophy hunter those of you who know me or who've seen my hunting videos know that I'm not after the trophy I'm after meat for the freezer last year I didn't get any meat for the freezer so this year I hope to be able to score a lot higher than last year. Um, yeah, <laughs> wait and see situation, I guess. Just wait, we'll see. <laughs> Thanks for coming along with, her, with me on the ride and uh, let's hope we get something today. nearly a full moon tonight or should I say this morning beautiful it'll make walking to my stand a lot easier in the dark so, <clears throat> it's uh, 6.04 sunrise is until 7.05 I'm not far from my uh, stand right now only about three miles to go maybe four anyway uh, yeah, I want to get a shot of the moon there. Beautiful, beautiful night. Clear skies. Hopefully, the good Lord will bless me with a kill. Sometimes I see deer along this section of the road. I'm only about a mile from where I'm going right now. Uh, and they're usually just going from one side to the other. They're not standing in the fields grazing. The fields still have their crops in them for the most part here. 
they prefer soybeans however they will eat corn I know I'm not doing a very good job of capturing the roadway but when you don't have lighting that you can set up my headlights are on bright right now it makes it kind of difficult to be able to film so yeah I'm doing the best I can give you a little idea of what there's one right there two three four <laughs> just crossing the road so there's deer out here that's a good thing there's another one a buck nice big buck I don't know if I got that on film I was watching the road watching the buck the rut has begun that's a good sign that's a real good sign Bunny rabbit. Okay, we're there's another bunny rabbit. We're right near the timber where I'm hunting. I've still got about a quarter of a mile hike after I get to the actual property, so but it borders right here on the right side of the video. From here all the way around to the end of the road. Well, I saw plenty of deer. I'm sure I saw 10 minimum. Uh, there might have been a couple with the packs that uh, I didn't see. But um, I do know for a fact that I saw 10. Uh, about five of them weren't anywhere near where I could get a shot at them. lunchtime pizza um, I did get a shot at one and apparently there was a twig between me and her because um, I had her sighted in and <clears throat> when the arrow flew it deflected under her and she was only 30 feet away from me so there's no way I missed other than that I hit a twig so I guess I'll just have to try again this afternoon there's not a lot I can do other than just sit and wait I put a uh, sent swab up hoping to draw in a buck I did not see any bucks other than what I saw driving in so hopefully one will come around this afternoon anyway stay tuned we'll see what happens okay the landowner said I could hunt so I came out here to hunt and my stands back in there kind of back in the corner over there anyway I came out and uh, spooked a bunch of deer but he also said bring your fishing pole because the pond is full of fish now this is uh, I think the third year so uh, I brought my fishing pole and I brought a lure and started fishing and I got myself a nice batch of crappie right now We've got four. So, uh, yeah. I'm not going home empty handed, that's for sure. Uh, I've caught three small bass. I've thrown them all back. But anyway, uh, 
I'm using a MEPS spinner. Red and chartreuse. Red shows up on this way. Anyway, uh, it's working, working great. So, hey, not a total loss. So, in about an hour, I caught six fish. I got four nice crappies and two nice bass. So, those will get put in the freezer. I got to kind of keep an eye on them because the landowner's dog decided it wanted fish. <laughs> So uh, I got to keep her away from them. But anyway, uh, using the Eagle Claw collapsible fishing rod and a uh, MEPS spinner, red and chartreuse. And it works great. I even caught a bluegill with it. So yeah, works great. <clears throat> It was a pretty good day altogether. No, I didn't get a deer. Yes, I did get some fish. I caught four crappie and two bass that I kept. And uh, I didn't see anything at all this afternoon. So, I'm headed home. Take my fish, clean them up, freeze them. The, uh, <clears throat> pond that I was fishing was rebuilt three years ago uh, when he said he stocked it. Uh, it was an older pond that was put in when his mother was a child. Uh, the land was originally his uh, grandfather's on his mother's side and she got the house when he passed away. But anyway, uh, she told me, she's gone now, but she told me that um, her and her brother were upset with her dad for building that pond because he built it in the ravine where they like to go and play. <laughs> play in the stream. It was a, I guess there was a spring there and they could play in the water and he closed it up so they couldn't play down there anymore. But... Uh, I guess it silted in pretty good. It was clear full of fish. My wife and I fished it one time and uh, every single cast you caught a fish and they were big bluegill. Big bluegill. Uh, what I caught today, the crappie were at, as big as the bluegill that I was catching that particular time. But anyway, uh, he had a, uh, it turned over on him, and he had a pretty good kill. So he drained it, dredged it, rebuilt the dam, and made it bigger. So um, the fish are just now getting big enough to catch. And so he told me when he called me Saturday to bring my fishing pole. So I did, and that made it worthwhile. No, I didn't get any deer, but hey, I got fish. Anyway, uh, thanks for coming along. If you stayed this long, I appreciate it. There's four deer in the field right there. 
Uh, that's why they weren't walking by me. They were out in the fields. But anyway, thanks for coming along. Uh, thanks for watching. If you watched it this far, uh, please give it a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. We'll see you on the next video. Okay, the moon is rising. And it's a full moon. Looks like it's a little more full than it was this morning when it was setting. Anyway, beautiful. Well, the full moon is rising over the big city. Yeah, such as it is. <laughs>